Hello all, I am Subramanian from Skillink. I have been in this automotive industry for around 15 years, starting my career as a GET for BAW components at Nissan Cars. After 6 years there, I moved to Mercedes Benz where I was working as a module engineer for backdoor of passenger cars and then moved to Scania for working as a supply quality manager in Sweden. Throughout this experience, I've gathered a lot of information about how to crack an interview. Recent days, I've also been receiving a lot of questions about how do we crack these job descriptions or how do we crack the job openings what is available in the market. After receiving so many questions, I was just getting into the system and started looking for or started hunting for the openings which is presently available in the market. On that note, this job posting hit my eyes and I wanted to talk to you about this on how do we achieve this position, right? This position, whatever you see here, is from Aether Energy for a opening on design engineering for hardware packaging. This hardware packaging might sound a very generic role, but when you get into details about what Aether had posted, it is really detailed. They are looking out for people who can design and develop electronic and electromechanical systems. It doesn't stop them. Or you, if you are a person who can design and develop enclosures in plastic, sheet metal, casting components, etc., for various electrical and electronic assemblies that are part of vehicle and charging infrastructure of Aether. See, this is where India is now growing. See, uh, we were talking about a lot of electric vehicle design and development. Now we are talking about how do we improve the infrastructure for these electric vehicle uh, related companies, right? So if you are a person who has this knowledge on sheet metal or plastic, you would be a part of this particular team. Similarly, they are also looking out for people who can have significant, who can make significant contributions to uh, review the tools, jigs and fixtures from the suppliers who produce the components, right? So similarly, you will have to be a person who will participate on this 3D printing or whatever newest technology what you have, build prototypes of the tool processes, right? Uh, DVT, yeah? Above all these things, it is very important for a design engineer to have exposure about DFMEA, DFM, DFA, etc. So there might be some people who are watching these videos who knows what DFMEA is or DFM or DFA is. Right? I'm not going to go more in detail about it, but to just define what DFMEA is, it is this failure mode effective analysis. When it is DFMEA, it is designs failure mode effective analysis. They do an analysis to understand or they already predict the type of failures from the design and take proper countermeasures. That is what is DFMEA. Similarly, DFM is designed for manufacturing. DFA is designed for assembly and it goes on like that. Uh, there might be people who are watching this video who already knew about all these things. But for the people who are getting to know about this in detail, please stay tuned with Skillings channel where you will have more information about DFMEA, DFM and DFA going forward. The point here is, if you know a CAD tool, you are not a complete engineer. You will have to also know the principle behind these components, right? You will have to also understand, you will have to also relate the problem solving techniques. You will have to also understand what could be the problems if the design is wrong. So it is actually a complete cycle. So design engineer might sound a simple uh, terminology, but that is actually not the case. You do act everything on the product's life cycle. You benchmark certain activities and define how your design should be and then you design them, you simulate them, you implement the feedback from simulation, you produce them and you sell it to the market. After you sell to the market, you start receiving feedbacks about your product and start improving your product. So it is quite a journey for a design engineer to complete one product life cycle, right? This is what they are looking out for. In this particular job role, they are looking out for experience in designing plastics and sheet metal components. If you have this background of electromechanical enclosures, it is an added advantage. They are also talking about if you had uh, advanced knowledge on fasteners, what are fasteners? These nuts, bolts, screws, those are all the fasteners. That is an added advantage. Surface treatment methodologies. What is surface treatment? Surface treatment starts from the basic painting of a product and what anti-corrosion elements you get in you give on a product to make this a very uh, effective one 
right there it also plays a lot of role with respect to the material it is is if it is a galvanized component or a non galvanized component how are we going to apply paint or how are we going to apply this anti corrosion element to the body right so as a design engineer you will have to be exposed to multiple aspects here they have also made it very clear like you should also know this dfmea pfmea like afmea dfm dfa these kind of concepts is also really really needed and experience working in at least one complete product development life cycle this is what is the niche thing what uh, ather is actually looking out for right whenever i talk with a lot of people i generally say them that please stay in the company for at least 3 years or 4 years because when you stay there longer you do more and you will at least experience one complete life cycle of the product right it is not like you join this year to this company to improve your salary you move to another company the very next year or for various reasons when you shift companies quickly as a mechanical engineer you will be losing out experience on developing the complete product which makes you a complete design engineer right uh, and exposure to pepaps or supply quality audits any of these if you meet you would be eligible to apply for this role right they have also told like, experience in working on software tools such as solid works plm tools this doesn't mean that you should definitely know solid works even if you know cat ar nx you are still eligible to apply for this role right fmea tools like pug matrix if you know it is an added advantage this is not a mandate because what they are looking out for 0 to 3 years of experience this job description has a varied type of activity we cannot expect a one year experienced person to have all this thing and that either also knows if you meet on any of these item it is it will become ather's responsibility to train you on some other activity it is not going to be one team which is doing all these activity it is going to be multiple teams meaning if you are an expert on one particular activity you will work for that particular team so now how do we land on this particular thing or how will people generally go there what is this generic way people take to land on these kind of jobs like i already mentioned people who are stayed in the industry stayed in a particular company who had experienced at least one or one and a half life cycle of a product they would know choose to go here it could be a quality person who had worked on a lot of pepap activities or a lot of supplier audits he or she will apply this role it could be a design engineer maybe for a consumer electronics right he he or she would have worked for washing machines sheet metal enclosure he or she might apply for this role it could be a person who had worked specifically on the gdnt of the parts they could be a eligible candidate to apply so this 0 to 3 year is a window where you get introduced to a particular technology or a particular idea and you start developing knowledge on it now for people who don't have any of these things what could be the solution to arrive here or to achieve at this particular location is in skilling we have developed a particular program called post graduate program in cat this program has almost all these informations from the designs perspective of for you to know and gain knowledge here if you look at this course syllabus you will see that you will be exposed to sheet metal plastic wiring harness sketching class a surfacing seating design and lighting design people cannot disagree for the fact that around 85 to 90 percentage of an automotive is filled with materials which are either metal or plastic so if you get exposed to design and develop a sheet metal component or a plastic component then you would definitely be an eligible person to appear and again the tool what they demand is not the tool what they expect you to be an expert in it could be a similar tool in which you may be an expert on the same post what we discussed now with ather energy we saw that they are looking out for a person from solid works background but they didn't say like i wanted a person who work on solid works they had told that i wanted a person who had worked on a tool similar to solid works such as solid works that is the keyword so if you are a person who knew katia you would be an eligible person so now 
using this catia or nx understanding the sheet metal component or a plastic component that would be the key for you to work on but how would you learn that you will have to learn by doing a lot of projects how will those projects look like what is this serial production part looking like how will i go and reach there design engineering is not looking at a 2d component and developing a 3d model it is something beyond that the reasons and justifications for the dimensions whatever is given on the 2d drawing is actual design engineering a person who can validate each and every dimension over a 2d drawing is considered as a real design engineer say for example you are developing a cube or a cuboid which could be 20 mm plus or minus 0.5 Why is it 20 mm? Why not 21 or why not 19? Why is it only plus or minus 0.5? Why not 0.4 or 0.3? Right? A design engineer is a person who will have answers for all these type of questions. How do you get that? Is yes, you will get this knowledge only by having known the real development cycle of the product. Only when you know the manufacturing aspect of it. Only when you know the assembly aspect of it. Only when you know the functionality of the product whatever you develop you will become the complete design engineer it is very obvious that on an automotive component around 80 to 85 percentage of it is covered by the material either plastic or metal it is very important for an individual to know how a material behaves be it plastic or metal right on that note the projects what you work on should be job relevant or should be life cycle of the product developments phase right on that note all these course works you will be exposed to projects which is very similar to on the job projects say for example on the sheet metal design course we will have a lot of projects out of which i would like to show you one of them which is uh, design of a back door yeah if you see here you are going to develop a complete back door assembly back door baw of an assembly right so you are going to develop a complete back door baw assembly when we look this back door from outside of the car it is a very simple part it looks it it just gives aesthetic sense to the vehicle but when you deep dive inside this back door it comprises of a lot of components you will have to design all these components consider this manufacturability aspect consider this assembly aspect consider dfm dfa that is the point here and how do you know what are the dfm is out of this particular design so you consider all these aspects and then develop a complete back door assembly and make a report out of it which proves that it is fully functional fully manufacturable and fully efficient on the roads right you will start with a class a surface which will be your input develop an inner panel develop other reinforcement components by creating master sections these master sections are the key for any design so that is how you approach and that is one that is how a person who is working in an oem will approach a component and this is what you will be doing it there are quite a lot of students i would say more than 1500 students who had experienced this particular course work and got placed on companies like tata mahindra and 600 plus other companies right to know more about this course work schedule a one on one session with my expert team and this expert team will verify your profile and suggest the needed projects what you will have to do to get shortlisted in profiles like what ether had posted thank you